parts of the Denver metro area ended up with four to seven inches of extra snow from Wednesday's storm, thanks to something that meteorologists call the Denver Cyclone. Here's how it works. The wind near the Earth's surface was coming out of the southeast on Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. When it hit an area of elevated terrain south of Denver known as the Palmer Divide, it created an eddy or a pocket of air rotating counterclockwise. This circulation is a feature that local meteorologists call the Denver Cyclone. This one first formed on Tuesday evening in the southeast metro. Winds around the edge of the cyclone collided with opposing winds, which created a band of heavy snow. We call this a convergent zone. It dropped an extra two to four inches of snow on places like the Pinery, Parker, and southeast Aurora. But the Denver cyclone is known to wander, and at about 10 o'clock Tuesday night, it drifted into the core of the metro. Another strong convergence zone formed and a band of heavy snow developed. And for the next seven hours, that snow band traveled across the metro from Boulder to East Denver, dumping close to three inches of snow per hour. It stopped just before it reached Interstate 225 and finally dissipated at 5 a.m. Wednesday morning. There was an extra four to seven inches across that area that got hit by that snow band. While just to the east, places like DIA got no additional boost and only ended up with a total of three and a half inches for the entire storm. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.